This is the second video about Sokotoa in a series of four. So in this video, we're going to look at what the ka in Sokotoa means, the C-A-H. So as before, Sokotoa is about the relations of angles and sides in a right triangle. So in this case, we're dealing with C-A-H, and the C stands for cosine. So we have cos of this given angle is equal to, and then the angle has an adjacent side. There's also the opposite side, but the opposite side does not matter for now for the CAH. And there's the hypotenuse, of course. And the cosine of this angle is equal to the ratio of the adjacent side to the hypotenuse. So in other words, the adjacent side length divided by the hypotenuse's length. So that is what the ka in so ka toa stands for. Cos equals adjacent over hypotenuse. And cosine, like sine, is just a special function. It's a button on your calculator similar to a square root or a square. And you can just take the cosine of any number, any angle, and it'll give you a value. All right, so now let's do some examples. So here we want to find AB. So I'm going to mark it, and it's x, and it's the hypotenuse, of course. And we have angle 45 degrees. So we know that cosine of 45 degrees equals, and then it's adjacent, which is 3, over hypotenuse, and the hypotenuse is x. So now we have this equation, and there's only one variable, x. So we have to solve for x. So this is the same as x cosine of 45 degrees equals 3, divided by cosine on both sides of 45 degrees. And we will get everything on the left side of the equation cancels out, except for the x, of course. x equals 3 over cosine of 45 degrees. And this equals, this is just something I plug into my calculator, this equals the 4.24. And it's important that your calculator is in degree mode. If you plug this into your calculator and you got a number different than 4.24, that means that you are not in degree mode. Most likely you're in radian mode. You can tell which mode you're in. Usually on the, the your calculator screen, it'll say DEG or degree sometimes. And if it does not say DEG, if it says something else, then you have to go to your settings and change it. All right, a second example. Find AC. So I mark AC as X because it's unknown. And we have 29 degrees. So the cosine of 29 degrees equals adjacent. And the adjacent for the 29 degrees is X. And then we divide it by the length of the hypotenuse, which is 6. So now I just got to solve for x. We multiply by 6 on both sides, and we get x equals 6 cosine of 29 degrees. So this is just something we plug into our calculator, cosine of 29 degrees times 6, and we will get 5.25. So x equals 5.25. And once again, you have to be in degree mode. All right, so now we're going to move on to a final example. So in this example, the main difference is that instead of finding a side length, we're trying to find an angle, B. So since it's unknown, we're going to mark it as X. And we know that cosine of X equals adjacent, which is 13. And I'm going to fix this equal sign here adjacent over hypotenuse, and the hypotenuse has length 15. So cosine of x equals 13 over 15. Now in this case, your calculator should have a cosine inverse button somewhere. And the cosine inverse is kind of like if you had x squared equals to something, you could take the square root on both sides. If you have cosine of x equals something, you can take the cosine inverse of both sides. 
So when you take the cosine inverse of both sides, you get x equals cosine inverse of 13 over 15. Now, a final reminder, you always want to be in degree mode. And when you plug in cosine inverse of 13 over 15, you'll get 29.93 degrees. If you got something that's completely different, then you are not in degree mode. Well, I hope that this lesson helped, and thank you for watching.